Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, and today we're going to be in the parking deck in the Ruined City Center, and we are going to make our way all the way up to this egg sack, or kidney sack here uh, for the um, butterfly fight, and kind of the same discussion we had last time with Oliver is going to apply here for the butterfly. Um, nothing about Conviction Spike is going to be helpful or useful as we adventure, uh, even though we are going to be running Hades um, with a very, very heavy amount of um, balance on our character here at 220. Um, so we are going to have a serious amount that we will of, of abuse that we will be able to take and our icor values are going to um, basically tank as we um, go through um, go through this area so again uh, we go for the backstabs as much as possible now this time we have um, a uh, a hounds veil so it's important uh, that we uh, re relearn our timings on when and how we are going to uh, engage here. Okay, let's see if this guy is going to attack. There we go. And so we need to take uh, the parries, obviously, when we can get them, or the backstabs when we can get them, because of our requirement uh, that we go for um, Conviction Spike. Okay, so let's go for it now while we... Oh, okay, Eo is otherwise engaged here, which is fine. And you'll notice that we really won't take uh, an incredible amount of damage, um, which is fine. But our problem is going to be in how we uh, actually uh, continue generating Icor. Um, as you can see here, our, um, our ability to recover Icor is fairly minimal. There we only got seven, but having precision along the way here is going to seriously help us. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Uh, precision is going to help us uh, actually stagger the enemies more often, um, and it's not really, you know, really going to help us a lot. Um, but it's something that we can at least try and understand. Uh, so we do bring along the Dameron for extended uh, damage reduction if we need it. And since our cooldowns here are not um, really uh, powerful this time, uh, it's fine if we uh, don't do code switching because of the um, very, very low cooldowns from most of our uh, gifts here. And Eo is just going to powerhouse her way through here. And we didn't get the parry, which is unfortunate, but you can see that we were able to simply uh, power through. Oh, whoops. Okay, and Conviction Spike was over, so we got staggered there at that point. So you can see that uh, 220... Uh, whoops. Okay, and you had to hit him anyways. Um, you can see that 220 uh, stamina or balance is not uh, even enough in and of itself. And because we have regeneration shift, we have an increased 80% uh, in our regeneration value, but also EO is giving us a uh, regenerator here, and so we are able to um, seriously do some uh, very, very good uh, health recovery. Okay, let's see. What is she going to do? Yes, a sideways. That is perfect. We'll take that parry. And we weren't actually doing anything, so it was kind of useless. And we'll take that parry too. Just because we need all the i bits bits uh, we can possibly get. Okay. And then we'll go for Conviction Spike down in the hole as we continue on after cutscene. Because we don't want to waste our Conviction Spike time. Uh, because it is only 60 seconds of, uh, you know, the balance goodness here. And so we want to make sure that we are maximizing that along the way. And you can see that it doesn't really matter uh, to take damage. And so let's look at our balance here as we have uh, Conviction Spike active, 331. So there's your 50% um, increase of uh, uh, balance. Oops, okay. And I completely missed him. And let's go for the Damarung charge. 
so we make sure that we have as little damage coming our way as possible. And Precision doing uh, good work there. Alright, now the dogs here, uh, this is where things can get um, a little bit wacky with how they attack and everything. So we want to make sure that we just keep them stagger locked. Now there's no parrying a dog, but that's completely fine. Um, because if we just hit them with precision over and over and over and over, uh, then we should be completely fine. And I'm not getting a backstab. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, here is Ninja Man. So we've got Conviction Spike active. So let's go for the backstab. And Conviction Spike is going to end, I believe. But that is probably fine. Okay. Okay. And you can see that he still, um, he still staggers us, uh, regardless of having Conviction Spike active. So, kind of unfortunate there for us, for sure, um, because of that fact that he just, you know, powers through, uh, no problem. Okay, we'll take this backstab, and again, because we are running Hades, it is so very important that we, uh, actually keep, um, Oops, that we actually keep, uh, whoops, all of our i -Core as high as possible because we are just using an insane amount of i -Core here along the way um, in order to generate, you know, as high of recovery of our i -Core as possible. And we'll go for Conviction Spike again. And we do pick up another, um, we do pick up another uh, healing regeneration here. Uh, so this is good that we can use another one here, no problem. And we still get six I-Core there, um, which is kind of okay. Uh, and so we can go ahead and use a regeneration to bring us back up to eight, uh, um, which is very, very nice. Okay, now we come over here to these fellas, and uh, let's go ahead and get our second... Uh, defense going here good and let's just go ahead and uh, attack through these guys okay and you can see there that we were able to uh, kind of just rampage through um, without worrying about too much damage and here's the rest of the uh, crew and so conviction spike is almost over uh, which is pretty bad for us um, because we are now in the position of uh, you know we're actually in the position here that we uh, are going to have some problems and somehow I missed that parry somehow that did not function effectively okay let's go for cleansing light okay good job you and somehow we did not get that parry either but, oh well Sometimes that's just the way, you know, it, it rolls, um, but that's okay. And here, uh, you can see that, um, you know, being stunned uh, is uh, kind of uh, uh, not such a great time, but having Eo along, she wipes away all of our pain of being stunned with uh, Panacea's Essence, so that is going to be uh, super helpful in the butterfly fight as well. Okay, so you've seen enough adventuring here with Conviction Spike in how it uh, kind of doesn't make too much of a uh, change here for us. Um, and uh, there's not really any super benefit to having it along the way here, um, but it does, uh, it does help us a little bit. Um, so with that in mind, we're just going to run um, and uh, we'll just get to the butterfly because there is no reason to um, stand around anymore and uh, see Conviction Spike in action because Conviction Spike really doesn't have a whole lot of engaging gameplay but the butterfly will be definitely different uh, because you will be venomed uh, if you take damage when you take damage I should say and typically um, you know taking that damage is pretty bad actually let's just go we have all of the um, 
We have all of the heals and everything available to us. And having Eo along for the uh, for the run here is also helpful because she does a whole lot of super benefit for us to make sure that we are um, not affected by statuses. Um, and also we can uh, have increased healing. And with something like Regenerator and uh, regeneration shift both active at the same time uh, we have a very very uh, high regeneration value of 1.18 or 1.8 times 1.15 which is great and so we can increase that healing to very 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 high levels um, without really too much issue now the reason we're we're taking this sword here along with us in Hades uh, is because of the fact that we can uh, charge it and we can get fire on our weapon which instantly boosts our damage significantly okay so here uh, this is a real problem we have to uh, get several backstabs here in order to get us up to 20 icor um, so we can actually even use conviction spike because um, if we don't have, um, if we don't have the amount of Icor here, then we can't even do uh, the build of what we want, of what we came here to do. And so now we are at 20, and we haven't taken damage, which is perfect. That is exactly where we want to be. And as we do parries along the way, we will also be able to uh, bring that up uh, significantly. Okay. So here, we are going to go for a couple other gifts first in order to uh, get these active and going so we can then focus on parries and uh, conviction spike. Now, uh, here, there are several moves that you cannot parry and there are several moves that you can parry. This is the move that you want uh, all the time um, if you can get it. Okay, she's going to do that. So we'll go for a Cleansing Light. And, you know, none of these uh, poison moves here uh, can be parried. But, but that... Whoops. Oh, that is definitely a move you can parry there. Okay. And let's go for the Charge Attack here. Okay. And let's wait for... Oh, okay, good. That is good. We can go for a Conviction Spike now. Sorry, you. Eo might, uh, yeah, I was gonna say she might be dead there. Um, maybe not. That is not a parry move. Okay, very good. Okay. Well, our, uh, our attack here is wearing off. So let's go for, um, a little bit of that. Okay. Okay, good. Oops. I can't see where she's going. <laughs> okay. So that's a problem when you uh, are not uh, in front of her. Because then you can't see actually what move she's uh, doing. So you can't tell when that parry window is. Now, uh, the GXL Defender here is a fantastic... Uh, blood veil for this exact boss fight because it is the highest venom resistance in the game and you can go for some crazy uh, defenses on this thing to be uh, pretty well uh, stacked against her but for mo most of the part uh, you just simply want to uh, go for those standing in front of her attacks and go for the parries and then uh, you should be good to go okay so let's go for a charge attack here and she's going to go right into poison. Okay. And uh, we can go for some attacks into a parry. Okay. Now if you stand there, you can a lot of times get her locked into a uh, stagger loop. Uh, whoops. Where she will just uh, continue to attack over and over and over. Whoops. Okay, we totally missed that one. Totally missed that one. 
All right, we're almost to 20, so we can almost, um, well, let's go ahead and heal, because why not? Heal's gonna be good over there. Oh, okay. Okay, now we need our fire here uh, again. So we'll wait for her to do something here. Let's go for as many uh, slaps here as we can. Now it is phase two. Very, very difficult uh, to find those parry opportunities here in phase two. Um, this is going to be, whoops, um, a little bit tough. Let's, oh, okay. Ouch. Thanks, you. There we go. Now we can go for Conviction Spike. Yeah, oops. That is not a parryable move uh, ever. Okay, good. I'm getting these parries in here. Okay, and let's go for Conviction Spike now. Eo's probably going to die over there. Um, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll keep her um, up and ready. Oh, okay. That was a good time for a parry. That is not a good time for a parry. Okay, now we are focused. So we are okay. Oops, that is bad news. Let's go for a heal. Man, she is just hard up for uh, EO here. Go for a charge. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. There we go. Go for Royal Heart. Where is she? I wish I could see where she's at so we can get um, a parry so we can uh, keep our stamina up. Okay. Not, not so great. Let's go for a heal. Good. Okay. Let's go for damage reduction. Wow, we got uh, super lucky on that one. Man, she just won't uh, give us any parry uh, moves here. In there we go. Oh, that was a parry move, unfortunately. Okay, you gonna do it? Oh, she, she was, and I messed it up. Oh, she's exploding. Okay, let's go for a little bit of cleansing light here. Let's heal. Now, this is bad. Oh. Okay. Now, not too much uh, cleansing light here, as you can tell. Um, it's uh, a little bit uh, tough here to, to get uh, cleansing light going. Okay. Uh, okay. Ouch. Okay, hang in there, you. I need a little bit of I-Core. Let's go for a Drain Activator. Oh. And... Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was a uh, horrible, horrible timing. Oh, this is bad. Okay, let's go ahead and run. And another one? Wow, okay. And there. Okay, well, uh, Conviction Spike not uh, performing, you know, super high tier here in the boss fight, uh, as you would imagine, um, because there's not a lot of times where you are just uh, spamming out attacks where you want to take the hits because of the poison uh, buildup. It is so intense in this fight. But anyways, it's a very uh aggressive passive play style uh, <laughs> very very different um you really want to put on a strong front with that huge uh balance value here but then you kind of hang back because you don't want to be poisoned but anyways uh it's kind of a, a different way of thinking about how to take hits and when to be smart with taking hits 
but you you never can plan it uh, exactly perfectly. So anyways, hopefully this is giving you guys some interesting different insight into how to use uh, use communal and how it can be affected with uh, different bosses in the game. So we'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.